Hi, this is Andrea from Shiatsu Body Works, and I'm going to give you three uh, tips right now on throat health and keeping uh, good throat health at this time to help fight um, bugs, colds, viruses, and support your immunity. Now, there's lots of things you can be doing for your immunity, and you can download my top 10 uh, tips on how to boost your immunity, but I'm specifically today looking at throat health. And there's three things to tell you about. So one is about keeping your throat and your neck warm. I'm back in a rolled neck, the weather's turned cold. But also, even when the weather is warmer, you still have to be careful because uh, you know the old saying, catch a chill. And you can catch a chill. And if you can catch a chill, then you can catch cold. And if you can catch cold, your immunity is down and you can catch worse. So really think about, even if you're a person that feels the heat a lot, and especially goes for men who spend so much time walking around in t-shirts, um, wrap it up, especially at the back. So you've got the throat at the front and then you've got a um, very sensitive area at the back. So keep your neck warm and wrapped up. That's point number one. Point number two is about lemons. Um, lemons and other citrus fruits. So if you're not a fan of lemon, you can have lime instead. But you know the skin is porous and this means it, this is so it can ooze out its essential oils and its essential oils protect it from bugs so it's antibacterial antiviral antifungal so lemons are fantastic for throat health so hot water with lemon in regularly um, and also if you have uh, essential oil which of course is squeezed from many many lemons so it's, it's a much more condensed um, oil than anything you're going to squeeze out of lemons and I've frozen some down in case I need them um, you if you've got the oil you'll know what to do with it um, so yes, hot water with lemon in is fantastic for throat health if you feel anything coming on. Now, if you do feel something coming on, in Chinese medicine, we're like, first of all, try and not get anything, try and stay healthy and balanced. So maintain throat health with those two points. But then if you feel like you're getting something, so sometimes, well, most of the time, if I feel something coming on, I crave garlic and I want to make a bolognese sauce. And there's a very good point for that because garlic is a pungent and it expels. It's also good for lung health. So there's a couple of things and it's, it's, it's all the usual suspects. It's going to be horseradish, onions, uh, anything citrusy, and uh, I think cinnamon as well, black pepper. Uh, all of these things will help expel. So you want them in, in slightly larger doses than you normally would. And then another thing that you can add into your food is natural herbs like oregano and thyme. They have a medicinal property, so they're very good as well, and they're good for the lungs too. So uh, the next point I wanted to share with you, um, so we've talked about hot drinks, and there's a reason for hot drinks and hot food, and so the next thing is not to have anything from the fridge. Um, our bodies, the core constitution of our body likes to have things warm. So if you're having things that are cold, they are chilling you down and your kidneys are having to work harder to warm you up and you're weakening them. That's it put very, very simply. So to help your core constitution and your kidney energy, um, and which is the root of your immunity, is to have things at room temperature and warmer. And believe me, you can have your G&T at room temperature. It tastes better. So try and um, even keep off chilled tonic. Just bring it all up, you know, to um, a decent temperature. But the warmer your foods uh, that you eat them, the better it is for your core constitution. So even if you're having salads, have, have warm salads by, you know, roasting the tomatoes and things like that. Keep it all warm. That's going to be better for strengthening your core immunity. Um, and then this also taps into what kind of foods to eat and it's about reducing flu foods that create phlegm and phlegm is um, created in response to inflammation so it's about removing foods that are, that are inflammatory to the system so it's all the usual suspects it's all the things we like like dairy um, sugar-based things um, alcohol in, and you know a lot of caffeine um, so think about if you're a person that produces a lot of phlegm or mu mucus on the chest, think about the foods that you can cut out. Also, you can take turmeric. Turmeric has an active component called curcumin, which is a, a fights inflammation in the body. So adding turmeric supplement into your diet can help. But also if you cut out the foods, that's going to help. Again, all of this is going to help um, your constitutional 
strength which will be your immunity and lung health and lung health is obviously vitally important as well at the moment um i think that was all the points i was going to make about throat health and supporting your immunity and like i said you can download my top 10 immune booster tips um, i'll put the link below the video and i hope that's been useful and i'll see you again soon